Hello ladies and gentlemen, my name is Man the Maker. Welcome back to Star Traders Frontiers. We're Mo and we are Hyperwarp Jumpin. Saving us a little bit of fuel there. It's always really nice. Um, on our way to go do a mission over here. Gonna kind of piss these guys off a little bit. There's an artifact find here. Smugglers, merchants, spies, and explorers. Military officers doing space travel, but that's fine. They don't actually uh, bother us. More valuable cargo hidden in the containers of smugglers. People may gain influence here. Stashes. Uh, many smugglers running away on stashes to temporarily hide. Yeah, okay. Chances of finding smuggler stashes has increased. And uh, increased chance to gain influence for contact when joining the black market. Yeah, whatever. Let's go and do our mission. Contouring an explorer. He's a level two. A level two, 29. This is our ship. Yeah. Um, it's got 34 cargo, 28 crew. I don't, want to, I don't want our first fight to be against the unequivalent, right? I don't. So we're just going to retreat from him. I want him to be a small ship that we can just beat up. Take a quick look. Smuggler's not a bad uh, option. Kind of the same thing here. Don't like the powerful unexpected ship. This is not bad for me, though. I'll reroll this. It's risky. Okay, it actually did get better. Unexpected ship. Javat Pirate. Um, you are in a Raptor class. Level 2 Pirate. You're full of cargo. And you're actually a bigger ship than I am. I will just surrender to looting. You can, you can loot me. It's fine. Death among crew. Nope. Nope. And nope. Do all the things and our random transport. We can use our commanding air, which is almost certainly what we're going to do because we have very high command skill. Threatening is also not bad. This is, yeah, our negotiate is quite bad. Commanding air, definitely past that. We've picked up Valletta, lost a little bit of rep, as you do. We got paid a small amount, pay our wages, leveling up some people, but not enough to actually do anything. Our stats continue to rise. Piloting is pretty bad. It is pretty bad. This is going to have to go. And this. I don't think we've got the, the room for this kind of stuff here. <sighs> put another weapon here, maybe? Ditch one of these weapons to put in some kind of piloting module. So piloting is not very high. We are going to get hit by everything. Though again, at distance, navigation actually comes into play. Um, okay, I think we can just go uh, and leave this place. Might be able to do a little bit refinery to an industrial trade run. Nah, it's not worth it. Let's just leave. Got 41k now and we're going to make a bit more. So we are climbing up in that money situation. Which means upgrades for our ship. Which we really, really, really want to do. Upgrade our weapons. Carrying a smuggler. Kandar smuggler. Frontier liner. I will fight you. Bring it on. Got lots of yeah. Here's craft. New thing. We don't actually have any craft. That's fine. Um, we're going to do what? Targeting lock on you. Firing some Hellfire torpedoes. Lots of damage done to you. Failed to escape with that targeting lock. You're burning. Secondary explosions. I could have fired all three, actually. Um, hmm. Now the question is... I think we just go... with evasive maneuvers. Actually... Brace for impact. Let's go with the shield and the armor. Not something I usually do. They still shouldn't be able to run. He's shooting. He's hit me with very little damage. And you missed that time as well. Failed to escape. 
We have braced for impact. Just keep firing. Oh, I can uh, I can say repeat as well. That's also new for me. Um, I think we'll do a bombardment now. One more turn. Nope, targeting lock. We want to make sure you cannot run away. You're just going to take tons of damage from us. So little damage. So much better than what I'm used to. Um, failed to escape. Bombardment applied. Excellent. We can just repeat with our weapons. I think we'll do evasive maneuvers now. Try and get it so they can't hit us anymore. Fast getaway. But I feel like they're going to start having a really hard time trying to fly. I feel like they're going to start having a really hard time trying to fly now. Um, and we can probably apply... How much more time on uh, targeting lock? One more turn. Actually, I'm not going to do that, and just I'm going to move closer. Let's try and close range with you now. Yeah, now you're going to start missing. Failed to escape. Did I actually close range? No. Oh, I didn't have enough reactor points last time either. Oops. He does have fast getaway. He might. I'll be so pissed if he actually escapes right now. Um, we'll do another sharp steering. Hopefully this will prevent him from leaving. But I feel like he's not going to have the ability to do so. Yeah, we've now closed range. We can fire with quite a large number of things. Bloop, bloop, bloop. I'm going to start doing um, treating our wounded. We don't have any wounded. <laughs> oh god, that's so great. I'm so not used to that. Taking a small amount of damage. I'll just repair components if we've got them. You've used your evasive maneuvers, but I really suspect that you're not going to be able to uh, do anything. I'm sure most of your crew is almost dead. You're also getting secondary explosions, electrical fire. I don't actually want to kill you. How much hull do you have left? 120. I don't actually want to kill you. Instead, I want you to... Oh, you, you actually hit me. Yes, that's what I'm looking for. Failure systems. Now let's see. I mean, did, did people die? Our ship took some component damage. Oh my god. No crew injuries. It is so beautiful for me to see that. And I really like... That, that inspires confidence in me for fighting, right? Because one of the things that I always hated, partly because I'm used to flying non-combat ships, is I would get shot and half my crew would die. Not anymore. Not anymore. So... We lost one reputation with Kadar. Let's take a look at what they have here. Small craft components. We have freaking forever until we can actually sell that. I don't know if it's uh, necessarily worth picking up. Um, we could take fuel. I'll take the fuel. It was uh, wow, six reputation for that. And then I think we will ransom them as well. 3,000, 20% bonus from uh, the principled trait. Nice. I'm okay to not rob them. We don't want to tank our reputation too mad. But I gotta say, that just that's that fight went super, super well. I'm really, really pumped, and I'm almost I'm pretty much ready to like get into some more fights. Of course, I was just a smuggler, you know, and so it is what it is. Um yeah, we got paid a bit more, gained even more reputation. Nobody left, right? No. And we have uh, repaired our hyperwarp drive fault? No. I was wondering if I had a talent for it, but perhaps not yet. Pay our wages. Level it up. 
you've leveled up, sir. Um, I think we are going to focus on the commander. We do have another talent. There's quite a bit. Yeah, so power play, just more reputation based on charisma. We've got a lot of charisma, so that's uh, pretty, pretty good. Steady Hands is a really, really, really good um, buff. Hmm, but there's also something to be said, right? We can do Victory, Defeating Smugglers, New Lootable Cargo is revealed. That would have been useful just then. Um, more Rewards when Patrolling is okay. Steady Hands I do quite like. Loyalty Rousing is probably actually what I'm going to go for because it can help out a lot. If you've got low morale, just boosting that up at the end makes a huge difference. And our doctor, ooh, our doctor's leveled up again. All right, very nice. Calligan Fane, you freaking love me, don't you? Rank costs 3,000. Still in a trade ban with Altameza. Um, and your introductions are not super useful to me. So far away, so far away. Wing Commando recruits is something that we might be interested in at some point later on. Um, I think I'm going to promote that as well. And the Edict, what do you do? I always forget. I, again, I don't usually do this. Prisoner or Bounty Missions? Meh. Edict 1, Bounty Hunters of that faction will be less hostile when encountered in the Void. Edict 1 or higher, we can capture prize ships from spies or zealots during a spy war with prize ship talent. Something that we will possibly be getting uh, if we make it that far. Recruiting certain guys, get a bonus level. Yeah, that's not going to happen. We can submit to inspection during a ship encounter and the enemy captain will call off the inspection once our edict is shown. Is this for only us? Eh, we're not we're not bounty hunters. We're not gonna go with that. Um, I'm not gonna spend the points there either. We do have fifty thousand now. What can I get as a large component? What can I get for a large component? Reinforced launch bay. If if we wanted to be a strikecraft, we need this kind of stuff. This is what you need. You can see the price there. Three hundred twenty-five thousand for the cheapest one. Jesus. Um, hull plating. Wow. Right. This is the kind of thing that I'm really, really interested in. Hull plating one is still so expensive. Large fuel tanks, salvaging bays, yeah, no thank you, but uh, something to bear in mind there. Next up, we can look at you. I don't want the type match. I want ship, combat, and weapons. I don't... Mm, I think we're going to get more weapons. If anything, we would be looking to upgrade our weapons. Something like a reinforced structure or, uh, you know. No, we can wait until that gets up higher. But can we? Ah, no. So it gives minus 150 mass, but then the bonus on top. So even though we have 185 available to us, we actually need the mass dampener, which is too bad. It is too bad. Could look at upgrading our weapons. We're going to keep all of our quarter stuff. Still keep this mission for the passenger. The barracks uh, is something that we would consider. Reinforced barracks. I mean, this is basically all of our money here. Now, but yeah, we have a Barracks 3. Barracks 4, giving us quite a bit more crew. Six more crew might be worth it. But not yet. This is actually what we would want. It's only... Uh, because it's 24 crew, we would need... Reinforced barracks for 225,000. Yeah, that's not going to happen. That's not going to happen. I think we want to get the barracks for next. 
There's also, I mean, tight match. There's also guns, right? Leveling up from a Hellfire Torpedo into something that's um, a bit stronger. Level 5 Torpedo, for example. More accuracy. More crit chance. More cripple chance. Big bonus to gunnery. And electronics. 30,000. Still 2 RP to fire. More void damage. More normal damage. More importantly, the crippling chance. The, the, the crit and the accuracy. Um, I don't think we can afford these upgrades yet. And I do still feel like... I mean, you know, what about you? Is there a way... Reduces mass, you know, mass dampener. Compared to a mass modulator. Different skills. As far as I can see... Yes. This gives navigation and ship ops. That gives electronics and pilot. Interesting. I mean, I would love to get armored bulkheads, but no, not going to happen. Not yet. Not with our cash situation as it is. I mean, for now, we're just going to keep on probably running missions. Um, I will. I think I'm just going to buy this. It actually has more rounds of spice. Could have gotten a higher level diplomat. Um... Which probably would have been worth it. But we'll pick up the one. We'll pick up the one. It's still not going to use it just yet. And um, then we'll see what other kind of court missions you have. They pay much more. Expert negotiator. Three jumps there and three jumps back. But it's 35,000. There's a roving corsair. You can loot merchants. So you would pay me to blockade. Huh, that's awesome. And Mysterious Abduction. Wow, that's a lot of money. I think we're just going to be be nice and just do um, something like the Diplomatic Summit. 35k for six jumps. We can do that. We can do that. And what we can also do is... Um, Pick up how long how much time do we have for this? Three years. We can also pick up another mission that will take us out in that direction. Toulon military officer, hello, sir. You can pay me. I'll take your 300. We lost four rep for that. Ugh. Probably worth it. I will just take a quick look at the patrol. Yeah. Not uh well, pretty good chance. Yeah, it's probably worth it. Would not mind facing a smuggler or this. This is also probably fine. Facing a pirate isn't the scariest thing. Learn a new rumor, artifact find somewhere. Tiny, tiny, tiny amount. New contact introduction. You know I'm always down to not get that. Makamu military officer. Just Take a look, man. We got we got nothing to hide. Um, I think we can also, but we don't really need the Taloon rep, do we? I would say not. I would say let's land. You had missions. Sending us to Iron Forge. This is, requires us to carry a data cube. And the other mission that we have is taking a person, Negotiator Origin, to Ironforge Abyss. Yeah, we can we can do the doubles. Let's double it up. Minerva's Helix, just go there and then go to Ironforge Abyss. This one is just to Ironforge Abyss. Can I take both? I can. To Iron Forge Abyss, but first, let's not forget this. We have to go to Minerva's Helix, which we will just pop into right now. Right? We want to make a bunch of money. We can upgrade our ship. We have fight stuff on our way too. I mean, I'm no longer really uh, afraid. I'll take a little bit of cash. Right? Yeah. Only 150 from you. Not really afraid of. I mean, 
Really, it's going to be about patrolling on our way. Patrolling and blockading. Spying, I don't know if we're really going to be quite capable of doing. But we might, you know, really like look at every place that we come across. Potentially do some trading once we're away from Tulum. We don't have to worry about pissing anybody off. Um, population to an orbital sea. Yeah, right. We still have this trade ban. Indeed, we do. We are losing both of them, which is not ideal. Um, deserved pump, reputation booster, always strengthen the alliance. Ah, that's right. We actually gain conflict score, which is quite nice. Pay that crew up because our conflict is not going well. Navigator leveled up. I don't care. Give me two navigators. I feel a bit dumb for that now, but well, it is what it is. Um, you. We'll just we'll boost up your quartermaster. We'll leave the navigator behind. Oh, and you actually have a talent, sir. You actually have a talent. We're gonna take a quartermaster talent, probably. Hidden trait. Um, people who leave. Definitely that. When we get into a nasty fight, somebody's going to want to leave. It'd be nice to keep the highest level one. I've learned the value of that. We can, of course, do our patrolling, our blockading. Eh. Nothing super interesting for me there. This one is worth it. Give me that 10k prop. Yeah, okay. I'll take the intel records. I'll take five of them, sure. This is actually quite good. I mean, damn, that's that's too scary. But if it wasn't for that, I mean, up to 10k, up to 5k. That is quite nice. But that's going to be it for us for now. We are going to uh, probably stop by these places and just see. I mean, if we can if we can boost reputation through patrolling, through blockading. Well, okay, blockading probably isn't going to make anybody happy. But through patrolling, you know, that allows us a lot more leeway in who we fight with, right? If, if we patrol a lot, we get them to like us, then we can say, ah, we've met this smuggler. We can just fight this guy. We can just blow him up, and we don't even have to worry about it. So we're going we're gonna to put this plan into effect next time. Until then, my name is Man the Maker. Take care, everybody. Have a wonderful day.